Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com and today I'm going to be talking about 10 ways to make your e-bike go faster. Now some of these are going to be pretty simple and can apply to pretty much any e-bike, but some of them will be a little more complicated and won't apply to every e-bike, but hopefully you can still use a bunch of them. Now the first one is to simply keep your e-bike at a higher charge level. By keeping your battery all the way charged up, it will be at a higher voltage, and higher voltage always means higher speed when it comes to e-bikes. Now the trade-off here is that a higher voltage isn't great for storing your battery, so if you're going to sit your battery for a long time without use, you don't want to leave it fully charged, but if you're using your e-bike a lot and you want to be able to go faster, you should charge it each time you use it, that way you start off with the highest voltage. Number two is to swap out your battery for a higher voltage battery. Now this is a little more complicated and it won't work for everybody, but it's one of the best ways to instantly get more speed. If you have a 24 volt e-bike, you can swap out for a 36 volt battery if your controller can handle 36 volts, and that'll give you almost a 50% speed increase. If you have a 36 volt e-bike, you can swap out for a 48 volt battery, and that'll give you a little less than 30% speed increase. If you have a 48 volt e-bike, you can bump up to 52 or potentially 60 volts, but again, you have to make sure your controller is rated to handle that much voltage. The next option is to swap out your motor. Now, a lot of people think you can just swap out the controller and get more speed, but it's actually the motor that's really determining your speed. If you swap out to a motor with a higher KV or a higher number of RPMs per volt, you'll actually be able to go faster. But this is going to be a more expensive option and is probably your last resort unless you really want to invest in higher speed. A much more simple option would be simply to switch from knobby tires, like most mountain bike tires, to smoother tires, which are more like street tires or hybrid tires. Smoother tires are going to give you less rolling resistance, and that means you're going to be able to go a little bit faster at the top end. Next, while we're talking about tires, you should consider keeping your tires at a higher pressure. The higher pressure you use, the less rolling resistance you're going to have as well. Now the downside of this is that your ride is going to be a little rougher when you run higher pressure, but that's the trade-off for going faster. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you tune your brakes really well. If you have any bit of brake rub, especially on rim brakes, you're going to be robbing yourself of top end speed. So make sure you tune your brakes yourself or take your bike to a reputable bike mechanic and have them tune your brakes for you. Another option that not a lot of people think of is to actually add a windshield to your e-bike. Now this might sound kind of weird, but you can actually get some great windshields that are meant for scooters or mopeds and apply them right to your bike handlebars. And that will give you less wind resistance, which can often buy you another two or three miles per hour at the top end, believe it or not. Now if you don't want to invest in a windshield or you don't want to look so weird riding around with a windshield on your bike, another thing you can do is simply crouch. Go into the crouched position and you'll be able to reduce your wind signature as well. By riding in a crouch, you give yourself a lower coefficient of drag and that will result in higher speeds. Another way to increase speed and to make sure you're getting all you can out of your battery is to keep it cool. A warm battery or a battery that's inside of a bag or just isn't getting good airflow will have more voltage sag. Voltage sag is when the voltage of your battery drops under load. This happens to all batteries, but if your battery heats up and can't adequately cool, it's going to have worse voltage sag. And lower voltage means lower speed. So always try to make sure your battery is exposed so it has good cooling. And lastly, if you want to put your hacker cap on, you can actually hack some e-bikes to go faster. Now the two most common ways to do this are to enter into the display settings and adjust the wheel size, or to enter into the controller and look, or the, the box where the controller is housed rather, and look for a set of wires that might be uh, performing the speed limiting feature. So this is often just two wires that are connected together with a single jumper. And by unplugging this, you'll often remove a 25 kilometer per hour or 15 mile per hour speed limit. A lot of controllers have this limit because it allows them to be limited for European legal use, and then they can remove that jumper on e-bikes that are going to the US or another country that doesn't have that same limit. So these are two other options, but not all e-bikes are gonna have those features, so you'll have to check to see if your bike does. 
All right, hopefully you guys found those tips helpful and maybe you'll be able to use a few of them to make your e-bike go faster. Now it's time for the book giveaway where you can enter to win one of my books, either the DIY Solar Power, DIY Lithium Batteries, or the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide. All you have to do is put a comment on this video and you'll be entered to win in the drawing in my next video. Now the winner for my last video is... Pat Hopkins. So congratulations, Pat. Just shoot me a private message here on YouTube. Let me know where to send your book and which one you'd like. Anybody else who wants to enter, just put a comment on this video and hopefully you'll win at the drawing in my next video. And lastly, I want to thank everyone for hanging in there while I didn't post for probably another month or so. I just finished a move to Boston, which is where I am now. So I'm excited to say that I'm all moved in and I will be back to posting hopefully videos once a week or maybe even a little more frequently. So thanks for hanging in with me and I will see you guys next week. All right, take care.